dear. <laughs> so, Konami announced a new pack. Yeah, cause cash tiers are finally coming. Well, not the full power cash, so most likely they won't be as strong as tiers or sprites, but they're definitely gonna be up there, right? They're not gonna be anything too crazy yet. But once Konami starts to release another wave of bands and starts to hit sprite and tiers a little more fairly, like at this point we're due a, a proper hit to tiers and just butcher the deck a little bit more at this point, <laughs> please. <laughs> then we'll start to see more like cash and then with the release of uh, Rise Heart in the future, they'll definitely be quite menacing in this meta or rather going forward. But you get the idea. Anyway, so if you want to know options to answer to the toxic lock, I basically have a list right here. So I'm going to do this simple. Here are all the cards you can utilize, but some of them are good, some of them are okay, and, some, and then there are obviously ones that are not here that are just bad against cash. If you ever get locked, right? The reason is, is because if you were wondering why Droplet and Dark Roller are not on this list, Shangri Era is a lingering effect, just like Protos. Except if you remove it from the field, Shangri Era, then the lock zones will be removed. So how do you do that? Well, here are some options. For example, the book cards like Book of Lunar Eclipse, Book of Eclipse, and Book of Moon. They all answer to the cash lock on release. Most people are probably going to test it out when not see how it goes. But if you ever encounter that, these are good options. Once they are flipped face down, specifically once Shangri Era is flipped face down, the lock is no longer there and the effect is no longer applied. So you're free to do whatever at that point. However, even though you flipped a uh, Shanger Era face down, you still have to deal with disruption effects from Fenrir and wherever else they have on board. Making Book of Eclipse the most popular book to use in the upcoming format to deal with Cash Tiras and probably other disruption boards as well. Evenly match is an okay option, it's just if you're facing Cash Tiras, it's very slow. And if they do lock you, right, if they're going to lock you at full power, for example, you're not going to be able to do it because they're going to see it and they're going to make sure your spells and trap zones are locked before you can evenly that means you can't even use your evenly you wasted your battle phase and that's the end of that for evenly so it is still an okay option for this format because cash is not full power but it's still good against other decks that don't have a spell or trap negate for protection but yeah it's still an okay option it's just not the best option when facing cash so the books are the proper answers another popular answer and something I would probably would like to use if your deck can afford it are the tribute cards. So like the kaijus for example, this is just one of them that you can utilize. There's obviously more, it depends on what your deck needs is an option. Lava Golem is going to be a popular option if your deck does not care about its normal summon. For example, in Valons, you can definitely utilize Lava Golem quite easily. You should play three Lava Golems and you can easily break a Shangri-La board. Uh, Raw is another answer, though it's not a popular option in most decks unless you're specifically playing with the engine piece for Raw because it's not all decks are going to have like three monsters on field for the most part. But if they do, just use raw. Some other options you can utilize. Swords of Concealing Light, same as the, the book cards, except there's no cost. You just flip it, you just activate it, and just flip everything face down <laughs> on your opponent's side of the field, <laughs> basically. But yeah, but it's because it's continuous, you just have to utilize it first. And if they have a negate, just try and play around it. But other than that, it is an option. Ozone Slayer is another option they can't respond to it with their monster effects, so the only downside is unless you have extra um, extra deck of monsters that are fusion synchros or links for other deck types, it's an okay option because ex exceeds specifically don't have a great exceed send target for effect, unlike say a fusion or synchro even links. For fusion, you have your Garura. For synchros, you have your Harrow for like ritual based deck, obviously. And then Link, you have your um, Sunny to utilize for disruption. But other than that, Exceeds right now, they don't have a lot of good 
targets. And in the future, there's gonna be another synchro target if they choose to add the master duel. That will also help break boards along with Oldman Slayer, but Oldman Slayer is an option. Now, if you want more of uh, prevention options, so ways to prevent them from trying to set it up early before it happens, you have Ash to hit Fenrir or a way to get to what they need to get. So like, for example, you hit the Fenrir and the Fenrir will not search for the, the Rise Heart to extend or um, the Kashira Scareclaw for another extent, right? Like it, Negate the search, slow them down enough and hope they bricked. That's basically all Ash is there. That, that also applies to Effect Veiler, to your Gammas. Uh, Ghost Ogre is another option to deal with them. And yeah, that's basically those. If you want to try and slow them down, same with Imperm. Just to try and slow them down and hope they bricked. Another option is Drone Lockbird. So if they add a card and if they add a card, just draw and lock them, and then they pretty much have to rely on either the mill to try and do that, but the cash shooters don't have any mill options or revival options to extend their play. The majority of their play is through searching and special summoning. So draw and lock is a good option against them, especially when they go Fenrir, add, and then just draw, and then they have to rely on whatever else, what's left in their hand to, to try and make that lock. Another option is your Pankratops or your Fenrir. Fenrir is not here, so we'll just pretend this is Fenrir and Pankratops. But Pankratops is another option to remove them from the field. The downside with Pankratops is it, it's a cost for itself, so you have to tribute it so you no longer have it on field. So you lose one, they lose one, and your, your board's empty again. But unless you're playing Kester or something that can utilize this, yeah. But it is an option. Snow is another option, like normal to snow or special to snow, flip it face down and you're good to go. And then um, I think, and then Super Poly is an okay option. So if the only Super Poly deck that can really benefit is probably the branded deck, right? Fallen Valbaz, you summon it. Super Poly don't use the effect of Valbaz because they have Fenrir, for example. So just Super Poly, get rid of the Shangri Era and you're good to go. Yeah. But um, most other decks, not really that great but it is a social option depends on what their board is like because garua does unless they have like two fires to get rid of shanger era it's not really gonna do much but it is there so that's basically the all the good options uh, like i said dark ruler no more and droplets are social options for when the release of cash does come and you do feel like you're getting locked quite often these are just some of the cards if you have any more, just feel free to leave in the comments. But I hope this helped in some ways. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's about it. So I'll see you folks for uh, on the 10th, I believe, when the pack releases. I'll showcase some Draco Slayers and uh, Balons and even a new, I hope the new DDD super support. But yeah, that's about it. So take care, everybody. Chasing sunsets in the sky. Let these moments pass us by Take my hand, don't be afraid You're brighter